Marhaba, I'm belly dancer Jen Suya. This is Bob and we are going to teach you an eight beat combination of belly dance moves called flirty figure eights. First, we'll show you the combination. Then together, you and I will break it down and learn step by step both the technique and the timing of each of the moves in the combination. And finally, we will practice it with Bob playing the doomback, Rhythm Melody. Yalla Habibi, let's get started. Our combination called Flirty Figure Eights is a collection of belly dance moves that we are going to fuse together to form one dance phrase that we can then drop into our dance as it fits the music. If you're not already standing up, stand up and face me as if we're looking at each other, as if we're mirroring each other, because we're going to learn this going both ways. You may have seen that. Right and left doesn't matter. We're going to begin in basic belly dance posture, feet close together, knees bent, Knees bent, side view, knees bent, hips tucked forward, chest lifted. And I am trying to remember to pull my abs in because it'll help your core. So feet, knees, hips, chest, and arms are out here. So what was the first thing that I did? Yeah, it's the name of the combination, figure of eights. And what I'm gonna do is a vertical hip figure of eight down because there's a lot of variations. You may have already seen our other combination, um, Sexy Spirals, which talks about a horizontal hip figure of eight. But this one is vertical figure of eights down. And what we're going to do, they look like this. Okay, this is going sort of fast. You can take them slowly. I found the easiest way to learn and to teach it is to break it down into two planes of motion. The two motions are, this first thing is what I term a double hip drop. Now notice I'm not moving from the waist up. I can hold my rib cage st um, still with my hands. And what's happening is my knees are bent and I'm gonna lift one hip by pulling up on that hip as if it were to touch my rib cage. While I'm doing that, this knee releases. So I'm gonna pull up here. Now I'm gonna pull up with this hip as if it's gonna to touch my rib cage. Pulling up, pulling up. Now if I turn to the side, you can see what my knees are doing. I'm gonna pull up, pull up, pull up. Look at my shoulders are not going up and down. So we're not doing this because this has more of a look, more of an aesthetic of like a Latin dance, which is totally awesome, but we're doing belly dance in this one, right? So our knees stay bent, never go to straight in this motion. Pulling up, pulling up, pulling up, and the knees. First plane of motion for our vertical hip figure of eight is that double hip drop, hips going up and down right underneath me. The second plane of motion is a hip slide. Now, many dancers call this motion a hip slide. What we're trying to do is keep our hip bones parallel to the floor and slide them. Again, knees staying bent all the time, feet on the floor. Sideways. See that? So we're combining those two planes of motion for our vertical hip figure of eight down. First thing we're going to do, let's start with Let's start with this hip. Pull it up. Now in that up position, we're gonna slide the hips out and then we're gonna drop it or you can also think of lifting this hip. Slide it out. Now you can think of dropping it or lifting this hip. Slide it out, dropping or lifting this hip. Slide it out, drop it, lift this hip. Slide, slide. Then we're going to smooth it out. So it's almost a scooping motion, scooping motion, starting this hip. S lift and slide, lift and slide, lift and slide, lift and slide, lift, stay nice and lifted in the chest. This is our vertical hip figure of eight downwards, like that. First move in the combination. Okay, what did I do then? It was something really dynamic and cool, right? I did a, a turn and 
I don't have a name for the turn. I basically crossed my feet, turned, and uncrossed. Let me show you what that was like. So I'm going to go hip down, hip down, hip down, hip down. And let's just go over here and end on this side. When I and as I do those vertical hip figure of eights down, when I'm pushing into that hip, most of my body's weight is balanced on that foot, which means that this one is easily lifted. See that, how I did vertical, here's a figure of eight, figure of eight. When I'm in this position, I can lift this foot and not affect this. That is the foot, once we've done that figure of eight, that's the foot we're going to then lift, this knee is still bent, we're going to put the ball of the foot, cross it over, and put it on the floor there. So just try that. So we've got our hip figure of eight there, knees bent, cross over. Good deal of balance work here. If balance, music and dance is new to you, or music or dance, and balance is new, you, you could just try this position. Okay, so I'm gonna put that, cross it over, put it on the floor, onto just the ball of the foot. Now to do that turn, I'm going to then, on my standing leg, I'm going to lift onto that ball of that foot. I'm balancing on both balls of the feet now with my knees bent, it's gonna be hard if you're not practiced. And then I'm gonna start turning, twisting, pivoting on the balls of my feet till I'm over and then I'm crossed on the other side. But I'm all the way around to see you. It's a little sloppy now because I was going super slow. I'm going to take now that back foot and bring it around next to it. And I've completed my turn. Can you do it? Easy, kind of easy to explain, right? Okay, so let's do this again. Let's go this way. So this hip would have ended. My weight is on that foot. Both knees bent. I'm going to take this foot, cross it, put it onto the ball of the foot, lift up on my supporting leg on the ball, pivot on the balls of the feet, uncrossing, now crossing again, take the one that's behind and bring it over. So our whole combination is basically two moves, vertical hip figure of eight down, and then that little turn. I call it the flirty figure eight because a lot of times when you're performing belly dance for a party or whatever, and you're looking at somebody, that's one of the aesthetics of belly dance is having eye contact with your, with your audience. Um, and then you look away or you're dancing and all of a sudden you like go the other direction. It's very like, oh, where'd she go? It's like, I'm gonna show you something and then whoops, I'm gonna go away and show something else. Kind of flirty and fun. How many beats were in the combination? That's right, eight. So here's our timing. We're gonna do four vertical hip figure of eights down, two on each side, starting with this hip. One, two, three, four. Where did we end? This one, which means we're gonna pivot on that leg. The other foot is gonna come around five. Let's try it the other way, starting with this hip. One, two, three, four. We ended there, five. Always Start your cross in the front. Starting again with this leg. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna take six and seven to come around. Our legs are gonna uncross and recross. Six, seven, whoa! Again, it's easier, a little faster. And then eight is back to the beginning. Easy? It'll take some practice. You can do it. So let's do it back and forth a couple of times, counting it, and then we'll do it with Bob playing the drum. Starting with this hip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Fudged it a little bit, that's my weak side again, so. Are we ready to try it with Bob playing the drum? 
Yalla Habibi, let's do it. Bob is gonna play the rhythm melody on the doom back and he'll begin with two texts, which is Thekane in Arabic. That lets us know the tempo, the, how fast he's gonna play. And it also cues us that on the third sound of the drum is when we're gonna start our first move, which is gonna be, that's right, one hip figure of eight, either this side or this side. He'll start out slowly. Don't you think we should go slowly? That's right. And then he's going to do what? Speed it up. Yalla Habibi. <laughs> okay. So we're going to try to keep our balance, especially going, it's actually easier faster, although sometimes you can tend to spin around a lot. Doesn't matter. Let's just have fun with it, and we'll keep practicing until we get it right. It is a lifelong process. In basic posture, knees bent, hips tucked forward, chest lifted, arms out. Let's start with this hip. And... The idea is we're gonna go back and forth from one hip to the other, unless I lead you astray, and then you'll have to be in charge. If I mess up, you, and you know that you should be on one hip, not the other, just go ahead and do it. And then post a comment, let me know. Uh, Jen Suya, like, ya yeah, mouth stop. <sighs> Here we go, ready? And when you are ready for a full course in belly dance, head over to our online school, school.gensuya.com, and enroll in Introduction to Belly Dance, where we teach you the moves, the music, and the choreography in step-by-step -step lessons, practice sessions, and plans so that you can learn at exactly the right pace for you in the comfort of your own home. Masalama, we will see you on the dance floor.